everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to be watching Perfect Blue. I have no idea what Perfect Blue is. I didn't even know that this movie existed until you guys recommended it. And you guys have been recommending it since the very beginning, so it's time that we finally watch it and we finally see what it's all about. I know it is a bit of an older movie. I believe it is a psychological thriller just because I don't hear many, um, many happy things about it. So I'm just get, I'm going with that guess. I don't think it's a horror. I think a couple of people have mentioned it is of the psychological genre, but going in, that's really all I know about it. And it is, I believe, in in the 90s, from the 90s. So yeah, <laughs> let's see what it's all about. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel a ton. It doesn't cost a thing. And you can always unsubscribe whenever you'd like. And as always, if you do enjoy the video after watching it and everything, please do consider giving the video a like and comment sharing your thoughts about the movie and really whatever you think about it. I'd love to hear your opinions, guys. Lastly, if you'd like to vote on what I'm going to be watching next, if you want access to all my full-length reactions and, you know, all my bad commentary, please do consider checking out my Patreon as well. I'm going to be posting way more there now that my horrible, horrible midterm for my worst class is over. I'm planning on sending- I'm planning on spending all my time sitting here, reacting, editing, doing everything. Without further ado, let's just jump right into Perfect Blue. Oh my god, I rhymed. That was perfect and unplanned. Let's get into it. Power Rangers? Okay. It's live action Power Rangers. Instead of Power Rangers, it's Power Tron. I've never seen it in an animated film where the person like vibrates to talk. Okay, so she this this Mima is famous. Actress and singer? I'm just trying to spray your eyes out with hairspray, sit still. I can't imagine, that's so nerve-wracking. Performing in front of all these people? Oh goodness. Okay, they're set. These are the power trons. Unmasked. There's like 10 people in the crowd! Perfect blue. Hmm, alright. Let's see where this goes. So, apparently, okay, so everyone loves this Mima. But she's quitting or something, and she's also an actress. Unless the group is called Mima, because there's three of them. This looks fun, I want to do that. Huh, I'm noticing only males in the crowd, why, why is that? Oh, she's shopping. The style of 90s animation is not what I'm typically used to. And I think you guys, you guys under, you guys know what I'm talking about. This isn't very typical 90s animation. She eats fish food. She's like, listen, it's it's, fiber. it's filled with fiber. I don't like that. I'm not liking that at all. Oh my gosh, throw your microphone at him right now. They were talking about it before everyone knew. Why is this a surprise? So it seems like everyone's pretty bummed about it and so is she. She doesn't actually want to be an actress is what I'm hypothesizing. And maybe she's sort of being forced into it one way or another. I'm not sure yet. Originally, I wasn't too sure about the animation, but it's, it's growing on me. I really do like this. I, I like the style of art. It's realistic, but still has a hint of anime. And I really do like that. I wouldn't know exactly what to call it, but I enjoy it. Eat it anyway, you scrape it off. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I think she has a really sweet voice. The voice actress was picked well. <gasps> they can- they're like live streaming her room? I'm sure you can see it, mom. It's being streamed everywhere. <laughs> 
Okay, so, so far the movie is about her trying to adhere to the pop culture industry, <clears throat> although she doesn't want to. She's basically left behind her dream because her... <laughs> okay, she's being attacked. Yeah, but she left her dream to, um, in order to pursue what her agent thinks is right. I'm gonna take a wild guess and predict that it was that guy from the concert that sent her that fax. He seems very stalkerish and like he would know how to fax her. And the fact that he won't be able to see her maybe as up close. Very 90s. <laughs> oh, it's an internet homepage. Yes, explain the internet to her right now. Very 90s of you. <laughs> Acting is such a tough job. It's an art. She feels out of place. She doesn't belong there. The artists who made this film depict it very well. This very uneasy, uncomfortable feeling. <gasps> Stalker's back. How do you get in there? Aren't they closed off, the sets? <gasps> They're gonna watch how she does and she's gonna do awful. They're gonna be like, okay, we don't want her either. <gasps> it was a bomb? The letter was a bomb, but it was for Mima. Somewhat, I think that guy, <gasps> that guy's trying to kill Mima. This story might be about us, actually, this story might be about a stalker that's taking it too far. A real life stalking story. The dangers? I don't know, this took a twist I did not expect. <gasps> Time to check the internet! Macintosh? <laughs> what is this Mac advertisement? <laughs> Me when I first used a computer. They're making it up, it's not real. Only a stalker would know all this. This is taking a crazy twist that I did not expect. Oh no. Oh no no. Actual <laughs> advertisements for the internet. I love it. She's becoming paranoid. She knows she's being watched. I'm noticing that there's almost no music in this movie, but she feels like there's eyes constantly on her now. Uh. He's there. How do you not notice him? He's so scary. She knows it's him. She has to, or suspected at least. <laughs> <gasps> oh, it was acting. I thought it was real. She fooled me. But he does. Nudity? To do something gross? That's the only thing I can think of that she'd be uncomfortable with. Close. I was close. See, she cares. Oh my gosh. She doesn't want to. You can feel the emptiness coming from her character. I'm really liking how the film is giving you a very unsure eerie vibe and it's it's kind of cool it's different especially with the art style oh my gosh what kind of show has this and her parents are gonna see that <gasps> awkward <laughs> you just hear him breathing <gasps> At least they know it's wrong as well. How can they possibly do that? Like, so detailed. It's a show. Mm. Just 
I know it's just acting, but I don't like it. I know it's not real, but I don't like it. Like, what did she turn into? She was following her dreams and now she's doing this? It's not actually happening, is it? She feels dead inside. She went from this pure image to stooping to that and losing her dreams. That was hard to watch. I still can't believe how difficult that was to watch. And I guess that makes the film that much better, that it's able to make it difficult to watch, to make you feel the uncomfortableness of the other characters. They're all dead. Did she forget to feed them? <laughs> And you know she's not ups actually upset about the fishes, she just- all of her emotion that she was holding back is coming out now. <laughs> They're actually still alive. She just made it, huh? <laughs> the original internet troll. <laughs> the original. <laughs> They've all been based off of him. <laughs> now he's slandering her. So basically her subconscious, some consciousness has projected this pure image of herself and it is actually what she's thinking, but she's trying to deny it. And it's being reinforced by all of these false uh, diary entries that are being posted online. So she feels like everyone's kind of against her, maybe? Just my analysis. This is a creepy scene. He's so about to get murdered. Okay, but imagine someone else going into the elevator when it's not for them. <laughs> and being terrified. Oh my god. I feel so bad I started laughing. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe this was a horror. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, kind of. I'd be like, yes, I'm afraid and I don't want to work there anymore. She can have feelings. Okay, at this point, I'm not sure if it's her subconscious subconscious why can't i say his word i don't like his crazy eyes oh my gosh they really did get her like entirely like that she is making herself feel tainted i think now why does she let people do that to her because they're telling her to is he seeing her too i'm getting really uneasy from this movie i don't know what's gonna happen next and I, I honestly don't really- I don't like what the position she's putting herself in. It's tearing herself apart. She's like ruining herself because she feels like she owes people something. <gasps> they probably post- <gasps> They did! Oh my gosh. Dude. This is horrible. I also don't like what she's doing to herself. He's gonna try and kill her so he can preserve this image of her that he likes. I really do like how they have such a heavy story so far going in the in the film, and throughout the movie they have a kind of heavy atmosphere the weather reflects that it gives you more of that heaviness in your chest i like that they did that i think it was a nice touch that they added i think maybe she's experiencing so much internal conflict and trauma that she's actually hallucinating is that possible to fake seeing things because of the emotional trauma. Now she's serpentining through people on purpose, so she, knock she knocks into everyone. That's the goal here. I like how her image of herself, the happy image, is all is bright with all these bright colors and has this warmth to her skin, and the other one has this cold undertone.
もしかして嫌がらせとかされてない ?Yes! You were there for all of it! 大丈夫。幻想が実体化するなんてありえない。What did you read the script, lady? Oh! What? So that was all fake? What is happening? Is she going crazy or are we? Oh, she's just keeping up with the fake、um, diary posts and she's thinking that that's her. He's about to get wrecked. It's a bomb in there. <gasps> oh my god, I don't know what. <gasps> Okay, I did not expect gore and brutality in this movie. It's not her. Or maybe it is because she was so sick of like what she did. It was just a nightmare. But at the same time, this is getting way intense. I. The nightmare she had was real. She did go. Unless it was planted. <gasps> it was planted! Or she did it! But she didn't know she did it. Maybe. Maybe the truck did hit her and she's just dead. So, what's happening in the show is also reflecting what's happening in her real life and in her own mentality. What is a dream and what's real? How many naps is she taking? Is this, sh is this show actually what's real? So that was the show. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Is, is this real or is it the show? I don't know what's real and what's, what's fake. What's a dream? I really don't know. The way that it's done, tra it's transitioned so well, I can't believe it. This is insane in a good way, in a really good way. Oh, that's the name of the show, Double Bind. Or is it Double Mind? We haven't seen that guy in a bit. He's coming, isn't he? No. No. Meanwhile, <laughs> she's getting murdered upstairs, dude. <laughs> no, dude, no. Yes! Kill him! I can't watch this, dude. Dude, I can't. I literally. I can't. <gasps> I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like. Don't. Don't. You, rule number one is you don't go up to the person you just hit because they're gonna wake up. They always wake up. <laughs> is this the show now or is it real? <laughs> He's not there. I told you. It was fake. And no one can believe her because they think she's dreaming. Was it Rumi when she was very young? <gasps> I don't know what's happening at all. This started off as a somewhat normal movie and now it's turned into psychological horror, is the best way to describe this movie, is what I'm thinking. Is Rumi or Mima like crazy? I don't, I can't even put my mind on it. She feels like she's back in the lights. But she saved her. <gasps> no. What? So Rumi had always wanted to be a pop idol when she was younger, and I guess she failed at it. So now she was trying to live through it again through Mima. Maybe Mima was projecting herself to see herself that way. She was always supposed to be a pop idol. And that Rumi just kind of fit the bill because she wanted to be one. So Rumi was putting all those thoughts in her head. They're both wild. Case closed. <laughs>
So if she wasn't ever really Rumi, who is she? They were talking about that in the show. Personality disorder. But now she's huge. Mima's like a big actress now? Alright guys, we're gonna need to break this down. We're gonna have to do some big brain analyzing now because what was that entire movie? We're gonna do that right now because I just, my mind is blown. Okay, I guess that fit the bill for the month of October. <laughs> I'm still scared though, I don't, that wasn't... That was a very uneasy film that made you put that put you in a very uneasy state definitely so i just finished watching perfect blue and the best word that i have to describe that film is roller coaster i did not expect that that is that is probably the most shocking film that you guys have ever recommended for me to watch i grave of the fireflies had me very sad but that film was just plot twist after plot twist after twist it was the best way to describe it really is a psychological horror <clears throat> the way that the film i feel was formulated was done in a very unique way i feel that it starts off with this character mima and she is very she's unsure of herself she's very it just starts off as this innocent story where she, where the main character the protagonist just wants to do what she loves and it seems like she's getting herself tangled up into things that she doesn't really necessarily want to do but then slowly and surely it turns into a horror for her and other people people around her are getting murdered people you, she doesn't know if she's actually seeing a double of herself if those are her thoughts or anything she's also getting stalked and it's it's just making these these thoughts fester even more and i feel like the gradual um nature of this movie was done really 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 amazingly i did not expect it to get that deep that quickly especially for only being like a an hour and 20 minute movie usually some a film like that it takes about two hours for to get all those twists to get all the feelings all the fear out and right and just to get the viewer feeling the way that the the creator wants you to feel it takes a long time for that to happen but i feel like this movie was just i personally it was done well but i personally it is it makes me feel like it's a film that i'll never forget it definitely scared me a lot it made me feel a lot of fear you felt a lot of mima's fear you felt like you were unsure of who you are you felt are you doing are you on the right path are you supposed to take this jump? It makes you feel uneasy right from the beginning. And you're immediately introduced into the stalker, which you know is bad news immediately right off the bat. So I really, what about this film, I really do like that it makes you feel what the protagonist is feeling to a certain extent. You, you sympathize with her, but then at the same time, you question her choices, kind of like I, how I feel everyone does with themselves they everyone wants to do the best they can they sympathize with themselves but then you are also questioning yourself and i felt like that was that was a big theme with the protagonist but also seeing the person who you think cares about you turn into someone like that i can't tell if rumi was good all along or if she changed like that if she developed that but it was very interesting to also see that in the show that she was in, they also would take little hints about the personality disorder, oh, someone's going crazy, and they was depicted as Mima being like that. Little did we know, it was actually Rumi, the person that cared about Mima the most, the person that t looked out for her. So that was an extreme plot twist. It... <sighs> roller coaster... Uh, roller coaster was definitely the word. Why couldn't I say that? Oh my gosh. Guys, that was crazy. That was really crazy. And I also want to mention that I did look up a little bit about the movie and I had no idea that uh, Satoshi Kon was the creator. That, that was the first film of his that I have watched. And I did know that I didn't know that that movie 
also inspired Requiem, Requiem of a Dream. That was, that explains a lot because because Requiem also gave you that same feeling of uncertainty where you didn't really know what was real, what was fake, and you felt uneasy for the protagonist. You almost felt their pain. I really enjoy when a film can accurately make you feel the protagonist's pain. I think that that's, it's a wonderful work of art. The fact that yeah, I, I I just can't. I'm usually one to really enjoy the scenery, really enjoy the music, the way all of that comes together and makes you feel. But this one, it's the story itself. It's the story that makes you... It's, it's not even the dialogue. It was just everything that happened, the events that occurred. Everything makes you feel a certain way. So, in conclusion, I think that movie was really good. It isn't typically my style. I, you know, I'm very happy. I like happy endings, but I found that movie to be very interesting. I think it was done very well. I think that the feelings it made you it depicted were awesome. It made you feel it made you feel the art, and that's all I can say. That is amazing. And the fact that you could not understand where the film was going. It was an actual roller coaster that you can't see the tracks in front of you. It was a roller coaster in the dark. That's it. That's the way we're going to describe it. That was awesome. And I'm going to be thinking about this a lot more. And I'm going to be talking about this film too. And I actually can't wait to watch more of Satoshi Kon's films. I'm really excited, guys. If you're still here, Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching the whole reaction, the whole everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will stay for the next videos that I will be posting, which are coming very, very soon. Thank you again, guys. Bye.